it was Holy Thursday, and I was in all my vestments, and we were I was carrying the Blessed Sacrament, our Lord Jesus Christ present in the Most Holy Eucharist, through the crowd of people that had come to worship on Holy Thursday with us. And it hit me. I immediately pictured our Lord in the upper room, looking out as if the 2,000 years between us did not exist. And I thought, I started praying, I said, Lord, you, you saw it all. You, you saw the indifference of people toward your gift in the Eucharist. You saw the people that would mistreat you, deliberately dropping you on the floor, things like that. You saw the great sins, you know, the, the Hitler sins, the even, you know, my little sins, you know, bad, bad thoughts, things like that. And you still gave yourself to us in the Eucharist. I'm, I'm still carrying Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm asking him, I'm going, why, Lord, why? And just as I, I let out my own quiet, silent, but very loud why, I passed two of our second graders. And they were not told to do this, but they both just gently bowed their heads as Jesus and I passed them. And the thought I got from our Lord was, it was as if he spoke directly to me. He said, don't forget, I saw that too. Our Lord is in Gethsemane. He's in the upper room. He's on Calvary. And from there he can see what's happening in our world today and even in our church. You know, I tell this story because many people have asked me, Father, are my prayers enough? Is my penance enough? Remember, Jesus can see from Calvary the good and the bad. And as much as the sins and the looking the other way and all those other evil actions hurt him, so our good actions of serving him well and especially spending time in Eucharistic adoration help console him. So on his behalf, thank you.